Getting the right graphics card to suit your needs, whether it be for gaming or work, can make a huge difference in the performance of your PC. But with so many options out there, how do you know which one will work best for you? In this video, we break down the top 5 graphics cards on the market this year based on performance and situations they'll be used in. So, whether you're looking to get the most for your money, a graphics card for gaming, or a high-end graphics card for creatives, we'll have an option for you. So, if you're interested in finding out which graphics card will be best for you, stay tuned. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. Up first, we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, our choice for the best graphics card for the money. If you want the best graphics card for the money, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti presents a great balance between price, features, and performance. You get excellent 1080p performance, solid speed with DLSS, and respectable ray tracing performance at an affordable price. The RTX 3060 Ti gives you 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM and 38 ampere streaming multiprocessors, with each of these having 128 CUDA cores for a total of 4864. Each SM also features four tensor cores, which give you deep learning super sampling, and one ray tracing core, which can produce playable frame rates for you. DLSS 2.0 helps to give you high quality images with ray tracing, but without impacting your system's performance too drastically. It also gives the NVIDIA Reflex, which cuts system latency, and the NVIDIA Broadcast feature filters out unwanted sounds while you stream or video chat. This card offers a base clock of 1410 MHz, a boost clock of 1665 MHz, and a memory bandwidth of 448 GB per second. The card itself is fairly compact, measuring 9.5 inches. I think what makes the 3060 Ti such a great value is that it brings you 1440 performance and second generation ray tracing at an affordable price. The performance compares quite well to the revered RTX 2080 Super, but for less money, which is why I believe this is the best bang for your buck. The cooling is quiet and effective enough to keep it from overheating, with peak temperatures averaging around 72 degrees Celsius. Unfortunately, its 4K performance isn't the best, especially compared to premium cards. Some might find that the 12-pin power connector makes cable management a little irritating. The TBP is 200 watts, which is a small increase from previous models. Overall, NVIDIA gives you solid performance, especially if you're looking to remain at 1080 or 1440 resolutions. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti is a great value for the price because it gives you performance similar to higher-end graphics card, but at a fraction of the cost. With its second-generation ray tracing, this is a solid mid-range option, and I think you'll find it holds its own. Up next, we have the NVIDIA RTX 3080, our choice for the best overall graphics card for gamers. If you're a gamer looking for the best overall graphics card, the NVIDIA RTX 3080 is a tough option to beat. This is one of the fastest cards on the market and gives you outstanding 4K gaming performance. The RTX 3080 uses a GA102 chip that gives you 10 gigabytes of GDDR6X VRAM and an exceptional 68 streaming microprocessors, which have 8,704 CUDA cores. You also get 68 second generation ray tracing cores, which are about 1.7 times faster than the RTX 2080, and support times variable to calculate motion blur. The 272 tensor cores boost the DLSS dramatically. This card also features NVIDIA RTX IO, which works with Microsoft's Direct Storage API to route data from your solid state drive to your graphics card, potentially reducing loading times for high resolution games. It gives you a base clock of 1440 MHz, a boost clock of 1710 MHz, and a memory bandwidth of 760 gigabytes per second. I believe what puts the RTX 3080 in a class of its own is how well it performs while running 4K games, continually putting up impressive frame per second numbers, which makes this a perfect for gamers. The high quality performance combined with the ray tracing and DLSS provides you with seamless playback and a massive generational leap from previous models. Nvidia has added an innovative and quiet cooling system as the back of the card is all heatsink with a fan mounted on the back to keep peak temperatures averaging around 60 degrees Celsius. Unfortunately, like the RTX 3060, this also features a 12-pin power connector. A massive increase in performance over previous models is only seen with 4K, as lower resolutions perform about the same. The total graphics power is 320 watts, which is very high, but considering the unmatched power of this card, especially for high-resolution games, it's to be expected. The NVIDIA RTX 3080 is the best graphics card on the market for gamers. It runs 4K exceptionally well, and is also perfect for gamers who want the best 4K or next-generation-ready performance. 
I think that this is one of the most powerful cards on the market in terms of gaming. Coming up next on our list, we have the AMD Radon RX 6700 XT, our choice for the best AMD graphics card. If you're looking for an alternative to NVIDIA products, the AMD Radon RX 6700 XT is our choice for the best AMD graphics card. This high-end product gives you excellent 1440p performance in a lightweight card. The 6700 XT is based on AMD's new RDNA 2 architecture and gives you 12GB of GDDR6 VRAM along with 2560 GPU cores. It also comes with 40 compute units and ray accelerators to boost the ray tracing performance. And its enhanced radon boost features combines resolution scaling with contrast aware sharpening to reduce rendering resolution in some scenarios, which boosts your frame rates. The RX 6700 also gives you an impressive game clock rating of 2424 MHz with a maximum boost clock of 2581 MHz and a memory bandwidth of 512 GB per second. Like other RDNA 2 cards, it is also quite power efficient with a typical board power of 230 watts. Another standout feature that I want to highlight is the smart access memory, which gives your computer access to the graphics card memory to potentially improve performance by reducing the pipeline for rendering scenes. Its performance is perfect for either 1080p or 1440 gaming and will give you seamless frame rates and improved resolutions. The 6700 XT is 26% faster than its predecessor, the RX 5700, and its speed is comparable to the 6800, which is why I think this is AMD's best offering. This card's temperature can get somewhat hot at 72 degrees Celsius, but the cooling system is quiet and there's solid headroom. Unfortunately, unlike the NVIDIA options, the ray tracing technology is first generation and does have a noticeable impact on performance. However, for most games, rasterization performance is more important and the RT 6700 holds its own here. The speed can also slow at 4K, but its excellent performance at lower resolutions still makes it worth it. The AMD RT 6700 XT is my choice for the best AMD graphics card available, especially if you're an AMD faithful. This card gives you solid performance and is excellent if you primarily game at 1440 or if you value rasterization performance over ray tracing. If you're interested in updated pricing on any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. Prices update on these products almost daily with sales and general price drops, so if you want to find the most updated information, check the description. If you found this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving this video a like and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below. Next up on our list, we have the NVIDIA RTX 3090 our choice of the best high-end graphics card for creatives. For anyone who needs a high-performance card for work, the NVIDIA RTX 3090 is the best high-end graphics card for creatives. This is the fastest graphics card available and is perfect for content creation tasks. The RTX 3090 is a powerful card with an impressive frame buffer that gives you an outstanding 24GB of GDDR6X VRAM. It also comes with 82 streaming microprocessors with a total of 10,496 CUDA cores, 328 Tensor cores, and 82 ray tracing cores. The power of this card really helps benefit 3D rendering or animation work, allowing you to handle larger datasets rapidly. You can also use features like Broadcast, which filters out unwanted noise during virtual meetings. With this card, you get a base clock of 1,395 MHz, a boost clock of 1,695 MHz, and an unmatched memory bandwidth of 935.8 gigabytes per second. I believe that the content creation utility is really what sets the 3090 apart. You get quick 3D render times that allow you to perform real-time manipulations of scenes with massive data footprints, and run GPU-intensive applications quite easily. The 4K performance is truly impressive, and with the new DLSS Ultra Performance, you can also get playable frame rates at 8K, although better options for gaming exist. The cooling system is very quiet and has two large fans that keep the peak temperature around 70 degrees Celsius. Something to note, at lower resolutions, the performance isn't much better than the other cars on this list, especially when factoring in the RTX 3090's relatively high price. It's also power intensive with a TGP of 350 watts, and due to its large size, this card can be tough to mount. However, if you're looking for a top-of-the-line graphics card to tackle intensive creative work, you'll be hard-pressed to find a better option. The powerhouse NVIDIA RTX 3090 is an extremely fast and high-performing card, and is my choice as the best on the market for content creators. If you're a creative professional, a 4K gamer, or if you're curious about 8K gaming, this is the graphics card for you. Last up on our list, we have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super, our choice for the best budget graphics card. 
If you're looking to boost your system's performance on a budget, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super is my recommendation for you. This affordable card gives you good value, solid performance at 1080p Ultra, and proven Turing architecture. The GTX 1660 Super gives you a solid 6GB of GDDR6 VRAM and a memory speed of 14GB per second, which are improvements from the original. The 1408 CUDA cores and the TU116 GPU are the same, however. The Super also gives you improved ultra-low latency, which activates when the frames per second exceed the refresh rate of your monitor to prevent screen tearing. And when combined with G-Sync, latency noticeably improves. This card gives you a base clock of 1530 MHz, a boost clock of 1785 MHz, an improved memory bandwidth of 336 GB a second, and a decent overclocking ceiling. You also won't need to worry about its TGP, which is only 125 watts. I think you'll find the GTX 1660's performance to be solid, especially for 1080p games, where it provides excellent value with respectable frame rates. This should keep most of the AAA gamers and esports players satisfied. Its performance at 1440p is admirable, although limited. NVIDIA's NVE and C encoder is also perfect if you want solid entry-level streaming capabilities at an accessible price. The Super also has a cooling system with two fans to keep the GPU peaking at 74 degrees Celsius, although the fans can be loud when compared to competitors. Unfortunately, this card lacks ray tracing or tensor cores, limiting its utility for higher resolution games. Some might also feel that the three display outputs are limiting. Given that the Super offers a solid price to performance ratio, is very budget friendly, and that 1080 is the most popular resolution for PC gaming, these problems are easily overlooked. NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 1660 Super provides good value and is the best budget option available right now. This is an improvement over the base model, which many consider to be a great entry-level card. I believe this is the best value option because its 1080p performance exceeds expectations, and for the price, it really can't be beat. Alright guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now, so if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up to date pricing on all of the products mentioned in this video. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you back here soon for the next video.